Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here in Santorini for the virtual diver conference and I'm joined with their geologist here, Professor Evi Nomaku, and we're going to talk a little bit about this project, how it came about, and Evi is going to give us her expertise on it. So how did this project start? The beginning, welcome to Santorini. So <laughs> Thank you, you need to go outside and enjoy the beautiful landscape, but before then, you need also to explore in the virtual reality what is the volcano of Santorini. So uh, you are going to use the Oculus mm -hmm. in order to fly around Santorini <laughs> and of course to walk yes. in a very active crater like the crater of George in Neagamini. Mm -hmm. And the most beautiful part, the most fascinating part is to dive within the Santorini caldera and explore the seafloor. Okay, so we have this, uh, we have uh, constructed this digital platform mm -hmm. and you may fly, walk and dive and investigate or explore not only the geology of Sadorini or the geomorphology of Sadorini but also the architecture of the houses. So you can enter in the cave house and you may also explore the beautiful places like the square of Ia or you may walk in a very small path of Ia, the most beautiful village of Sadorini. And of course, you may go around and you fly all over the area around Nea Kamini. And this is something that we say for the students, so this is an educational program mm -hmm. because the people in Sadorini, especially the students, need to learn about the volcanic eruptions of Sadorini. So we have created some different transects mm -hmm. or different videos and video reconstruction. And on this video you, all, you can see the volcanic history of Sadorini starting 600,000 years ago up to the present. Because here in Sadorini you, we have the youngest land of Greece. The last eruption was 1950. So the only thing that you can do is just wear your Oculus, mm -hmm. make your choice and enjoy the digital platform of virtual diving. <laughs> enjoy! Should we give this a go? Oh, oh of I course. take the glasses off. Yes. Okay, so I'll give you. Thank you very much. This is one and this is the other. Okay, uh, choose one of the scenarios and also you can have also some experts that they can explain. Okay, so these are uh, the volcanic history of Sadorini. This is the minion eruption, the, the largest eruption in the humanity. And you can see how the asplum is going out and the different volcanic centers within the caldera. Mm -hmm. You need to play around to see the landscape. Okay, go back. <laughs> Here we are. So the eruption occurred 3,600 years ago mm -hmm. and it started in the Plinian phase. So the, you can see the Aspen, the height of the Aspen was almost 39 kilometers wow. and of course uh, due to the eruption everything has been destroyed in Sadorini so that was the phase of the eruption this is the second and the third phase mm -hmm. and play around enjoy your time yes <laughs> you go outside now and you may choose something else or okay pick this oh wait the video? Or yes. Okay. You can fly. Okay, so you may also choose one of these uh, yellow triangulars and you can go directly to that place. Yeah, choose here. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, so here you are in the main square of here and just uh, below you can see also some photos, 360 panorama, videos. Take your time and enjoy. These are some photos mm -hmm. of here. This is really amazing. Okay, you may also read a uh, small uh, text about uh, St. Nicholas, for example. Mm -hmm. Or you may also explore the geology of here. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so these are some experts. They can say, for example, the history of, uh, of here. Mm -hmm. 
So I thought I would talk briefly now a little bit about the data collection side of this project. So a lot went in to actually produce the platform that you saw just now. So initially a low cost ROV, which is a remotely operated vehicle, was used to follow specific flight plans that capture the key areas of interest around Santorini. So the seafloor was mapped using this remotely operated vehicle. And you can see here some of the images it can capture, like the shipwrecks and other geological formations. Now these images need to be enhanced because they have this greenish and bluish effect, they're hazy, this is normally the situation with underwater imaging. And so to actually create something that is useful and educational, a lot of kind of after work and afterthought has to be put in to kind of create that. And along with these images, 3D reconstruction of the underwater scenes has to be done because you don't want it to be in 2D. You want to really experience diving around Santorini. So to get that three dimensional kind of experience, it's not as straightforward as just snapping a picture. So you can see here some of the results. So this is a 3D reconstruction of some volcanic dikes. So it's got a lot of aspects for geological applications, but also just general interest and a lot of educational. So along with the geology side of things, it also talks about the general culture and history of Santorini. So it points out the landmarks, like for example here, the largest church, and it kind of gives you facts here and there, wherever you are, whether you're flying, walking or diving around the island. But of course, along with the culture and history, it does have a lot of geology, which I was really excited to try out for myself. So you can see here, it's got some rocks, and I'm going to insert now a video of me playing with these rocks. And what's really cool is obviously they're completely weightless but when you have those goggles on you can kind of grab them and rotate them and you can look at these big boulders as if you're holding them in your hands which was just awesome so i'll let you watch the video now and then we'll move on to the next now you can hold your hand to the stone yes. and press this <laughs> and if you release the button yes. the stone will go away <laughs> we don't try to throw it away. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't. I'll break the TV. <laughs> you can scroll down. Maybe they there are more rocks. Oh, okay. It's so cool. Yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> I think that the the one that is like um, and then the last one. Yes, it's, it's not working. No. So along with, you know, looking at the rock specimens, we can also get the experts' opinions. So for example, here we have Professor Nomiku, who we met at the start of the video, who is the geologist, and she can actually talk to you about the different areas in Santorini and where you are and the geology and the formations about them. So I also got to listen a little bit to this, so I'll show you how it looks like because it's amazing. They put a lot of work into this. These experts are green screened into the virtual reality. So I wasn't expecting it to be so kind of high tech, but it, it looks really cool. So as I said previously, you can get a lot of facts from this platform as well. So when you're flying over, you can kind of like click on these little arrows and they give you f little facts here and there. So Ia is one of the main kind of tourist attractions and it gives you a little bit about why that is. And then as I said, you can fly, you can walk, or you can dive. So there's these three main modes and I'll let you watch now, uh, you know, it's a fairly long clip, but not too long, of some screenplay if you're interested to see how that kind of works. So you can see um, how it looks like flying over the island and also diving around Santorini. This one shows the caldera as it is underwater. So now we are moving around the island yeah. and in a couple of seconds you will be able to see the miner with the rocks below the sea in yes. the center of the caldera. So this is a fly over the island. So mm -hmm. everyone will be familiar with the 
landscape of Sadorini, the Kameni Islands, the main island. And now we can see the different rocks. Yeah. Volcanic debris, rock sediments, etc. 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 And after this uh, tour, the camera goes uh, above the two Kameni Islands. Yeah. Now this is the underwater, as it is underwater. Yeah. The rocks underwater, new sediments, old sediments, etc. etc. And now we are going to dive underwater and we are going to see how it is the area uh, near the Kameni Islands. Yeah. Now we are going, the camera is going to dive. And Okay, diving around the Kameni Islands. Now this is, and you can see in the small map, the yellow dot shows yeah. us where are we, yeah. the exact time. These are the rocks. Now we are entering another kind of rock. Okay, let me show you something else now. We are going to... Okay, now we are going to fly over Sadorin, yes. Now you can go to the right, yes, and uh, raise your head so we can go up. Let me... Okay, we are flying. Okay, now go to uh, Ia. Let's go to Ia. With your right hand and your finger, yes, hit the Ia area, yes. The icon. Now, this is the central square of Ia. Yeah. So, from here, we can take a look at the, an ordinary touristic day yeah. in the middle of the summer in Ia. And we can go to this uh, panel, go to the uh, this uh, the fourth one, uh, the other one, yes, with your right finger, yes, put yes. And now we have uh, an interview from the mayor of uh, Santorini. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, if there's any educational institutions or museums or science centers watching, um, you can email me and potentially this can be forwarded on to you if you do have the virtual reality headsets and that type of thing. But there is a tablet version, am I correct? Yeah, there will be a tablet version also, but the most fascinating thing is to wear the oculus <laughs> and fly and walk and dive within yes. the garden. It is amazing and you can even see like shipwrecks and things like that. This is just a very small snip snippet of what you can actually see around here. So I think this is, is there plans for the future to grow this? Like yes. even past yes. Santorini? Yes, of course. We need to cover the, the whole Santorini so we will create more transit. Mm -hmm. And of course to visit museums or the ancient theatre yes. or, or Arcotiri excavation or, or even the vineyards of Santorini. Different it has parts. so many applications for education, but also for people who can't access places like this. I think this is a really fabulous project. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.